Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Beaker's Lab. Got some Clan War footage today. I've been showing a lot of Clan War footage lately and was going to do something else today. But then we had this awesome war with a lot of just awesome footage. Uh, I think we had 15 or 16 three stars. Um, just beat the shit out of the other team. And they didn't really try, but it doesn't matter. Even if we're winning by 80 stars, we still go hard. Uh, every clan should do this. You guys should do this in your own clan. There's no point in slacking off. Um, I know sometimes I hear, well, why should I waste Dark Elixir, Elixir, or, or any, you know, anything to train troops when we know we're going to win already? Well, um, that's that's understandable. I, I do get that, especially if you're a Town Hall 9 and, you know, um, especially Dark Elixir is hard to come by, but this is invaluable practice. If you know you're going to win, you can try a different army, something you don't do normally, or you can attack a harder base than you normally do, and practice. Where else are you going to get practice? Um, so, I would, I would definitely do that, you guys, uh, if you ever can, if you're in a, if you're in an easy war, or a war where you can just try something different, do it. Don't just, you know, barch the top guy for 50% just to get the loot. That's so freaking weak. Like, what, you can't, you know, what... Jesus, you got me all flustered. You don't need 400k gold that bad that it's worth, you know, giving up an opportunity to learn how to attack like a real man. So, you know, try out hogs, do something. So, back to the footage here. We got Dimitri. This guy's awesome. He usually does hogs. I'm real surprised he didn't on this base. Uh, it's, it had single infernos, which is usually the go-to for all of us. If a base has single infernos, it's pretty easy to hog. You don't even need a free spell most of the time. So, he went go wipe instead, which is cool. Go wee wee. Um, and he's going to get the three star, it looks like. With the jump there, um, made it look pretty easy. Only got two defenses left, so he's he's got it in the bag. So, as you guys have heard, the update, all the sneak peeks are out. We've got a new troop coming out. It's a Dark Elixir Golem, Flying Golem, basically. <laughs> um, it's kind of cool. You know, it's going to be cool for you guys to do air attacks. I'm definitely going to try it out and see what it's all about. Um, you know, Lava Hound is definitely a, a weird name. And it's a weird troop. It looks kind of, you know, it looks kind of ugly, to say the least. But that's all right. Um, my problem is it with it is really it doesn't seem to be super effective for a 30 space troop. Uh, we'll see, you know, I, I've only seen a few clips, but it doesn't seem all that effective. I mean, you know, air defenses are hard hitting defenses. And even if this thing has a ton of health, if it's getting shot by air defenses and every other defense, it's gonna go down real fast. But you know, you only need a little time for raging balloons to get into a base, so it is going to help a lot. My other concern is going to be training cost and time. It'll probably be like a golem. It'll probably be like 500 dark elixir and 45 minutes. And that's crazy. That's not going to help the average Joe that's farming. But neither do golems. We all use golems. We just use them only when we need them in clan wars and such. And so, all in all, that doesn't affect us, our population, the farming population, all that much, day to day, anyway. But, we all do push, sometimes, some more than others, and if this makes air attacks more viable, that's awesome. I know a lot of people just snipe uh, with air attacks for 50%, intending to get 50%. Maybe now we can get two stars. I'm definitely going to try that on update day, and see you know, what, what's best with it. Maybe, uh, I'm thinking a lot of balloons and just not that many minions and, uh, a couple of those lava hounds, but we'll see. Um, I always get real excited over an update, you know, hope for the best. And a lot of times, you know, uh, something weird will happen in an update, like the last one with the heroes, you know, and, uh, I'll get discouraged about the future of this game. I don't know how long, you know, everyone that, uh, watches my videos, I don't know how long you guys have been playing, but I've been playing almost two years, and uh, really all I saw for the first year and a half, everything, 
every update was small, but I, I, you know, I loved it. Just small additions. That's good. Literally, the game, for the first year and a half I played, I didn't even care if there was an update. You know, I love the game. Absolutely love it. And uh, it didn't even have to change for me to be happy. A lot of people need change, and that's cool. I do understand it. You want new troops, new, uh, you know, hero levels, defense levels, and that's cool. Um, and eventually you do need new stuff so you can keep farming. But I, uh, I just get worried now with, uh, you know, the most recent updates, they've been real game-changing things. And not always for the best. Not always making the game better. But they are trying. Uh, Supercell is trying. They... I believe they do have some good intentions. Uh, it seems they're trying to, uh, I guess, make the game uh, pay off for, you know, the lower level people. So the hero update, that definitely benefited lower level people with low heroes, which sucks. I mean, you know, to our group of, you know, hardcore high level farmers, that's bullshit. It's like, you know, <laughs> Why, why reward the new guys that have level 1 heroes and, and take our stats away? But it happened, and, you know, we've gotten used to it. Um, I don't know if that's going to continue to be a business model. If, you know, I, I wouldn't say they're ignoring us and only focusing on low levels yet. But uh, that could be a case at some point. But really, I think uh, we'll always get more high-level, uh, you know, updates that, you know, do apply to us. All in all, I think the future of the game is, uh, it's up in the air. I think something very, very small and very quick could send this on a downward spiral. A lot of people think the game is on a downward spiral already. A lot of people did quit after the hero update. Um, I think if you quit after that, it is understandable, but at the same time, you must have been unhappy with the game in some way a lot of people play this game just out of habit after a while and they don't truly love it anymore something big like that happens and it shakes them up and they're able to say well I guess this is the time I should quit and that's fine I do think the future of the game is like I said up in the air air but I think uh, it's in good hands I think Supercell knows that there has to be you know a, a uh, high cup base of players there has to be you know guys that have been playing a long time like us hardcore farmers and you know they are going to listen to us the the population on the supercell forums which if you guys aren't there you definitely should and speak your mind that population there does have an influence you know we, we go on there sometimes and complain about things and and things do happen you know things change sometimes so all right that's it for my rant for right now um so we got a we got a one gem boost for 24 hours. Enjoy that guys. Get out there and grind some loot. That's it for this video. I'm going to uh, throw a few more clips into a part two shortly. All right, thanks for watching guys. See you next time.